Hi everyone, hopefully you're all having a fantastic Saturday. My day hasn't been too bad, it's had its ups and its downs, but seems to be going okay now. Meow. Hi Ali, thank you for the meow. So let's um, continue with this and what I need to do is move this path a little bit so we can squeeze in another building or two in between. So we'll start on moving the path and then we'll continue working with uh, the build we started yesterday. But yeah, I want to have this curve around this way instead of being further down. So how's your day been? Hopefully you've all had a good day. We had snow here, which was definitely different. And go that way. That can potentially stay. Yep, big, big flakes of snow that stuck. Yeah, you got the snow as well. I figured you probably did because uh, you're not that far away as a crow flies. As they say. Right, so let's grab the gravel and the dirt. Oops. Well. Don't want that, that's for sure. This needs to go from here, so about here ish, I think. Yep. Well, not for, for most places, but you're just a little east of where I am. So, I guess I need to empty more room. Let's see what I can dump off. Because inventory is a thing. Alright, so let's get you. And all these random different blocks. Some of these definitely. Because mm, I want it to come up here and around here, which means you need to go. Mm -hmm. And falling in a hole, yeah. Okay, so, no, this is my way out. I thought I'd uh, broken my way out of the of the inn. So, how have you been today? On have you been on Titancraft today? I know I saw you on there earlier this morning. I'm pretty sure I did, and I'm pretty. Sure, I think it was today anyway. So let's, uh, I need some dirt or grass. I think we have some of that because I picked up a stack of it yesterday, didn't I? There we go. Right, let's uh, get... May have to pull, push this hill back a little bit. I think I'm going to have to. Just so I can get a um, path around this way. I 
Okay, I want it to come up here. Probably want a tiny alleyway through here, a house here, and a path. Here. Yep, let's pick up some of these shulkers and move them again. I really should probably put some of these away, but I promised you guys a shulker monster. <laughs> That's my excuse. Right, so... I know I'm looking... I'm looking forward this evening to seeing... Um, you're cooking up bricks and spawning zombies and all that. That's cool. Well, uh, there's a whole bunch more netherrack if you want it, because I spent an hour, a couple of hours digging out in the nether for the hub area earlier. So there's several, several double chests of netherrack if you want it. What I do need to do is make a house of Titan Craft so I can then start setting up a storage room. I may do that tomorrow. But I do need to continue rolling villagers. I was doing that this morning. You still have the dirt up with no doors. Oh, there's plenty there that you can have, um, Ali. Move the bed. And stone cutter. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, I want the bed and that set my spawn point. Yep, well, like I say, there is tons of it. You're welcome to take whatever of it you want. It saves me moving in, it into storage. So, yep. Go for it. So if I come round here. Come this way. And drop down here. I want to drop down here. I'm just going to need a little bit of room. I want it to curve around, but I want it to... Uh... Oops. Let's just fill, fill this area in. Are you coarse dirt or are you um, 
looking at dirt. You see you're just dirt, that's fine. That means you will grass over. Oops, that's not what I meant. I want a two wide path going this way. Uh, I think I can just fill this in here. It's going to join onto the two. <laughs> it fell in a hole then. But it was only one deep. Onto a two wide path coming to this cliff edge. This two wide path is then going to go to the front here. And it's going to come to about here and end. Yep, that'll be fine. We've got to figure out what I'm doing with just going to put this bit back and then I f I'll figure that out bit out afterwards depending upon what I put there hi cats sorry I was concentrating on the path apologies so how are you doing how are you doing, cat? Hopefully you're having a great day. So, the path up and round this way to join this path, which should... Yeah, but I, need, I do need to pay attention to the people in chat because that's part of what being the streamer is. Oops. Right, so that can go that way. This one can come down here. So how wide do I want to... You just walk up. Oh yeah, I, I get focused sometimes and especially when it's uh, trying to lay out where the build's going to be because I have this little path that goes up that way but I'm thinking I should probably have a path that goes this way too. And getting them to tie together, well, that's going to be the fun bit. <laughs> Let's uh, figure out this way. So I'm going to want some half slabs. 
Okay, let's start with this path first, though. And it'll come together eventually. It always does. Um, the paths will... The, th the thing is, this is going to be more of the farmy, countryside kind of area over here. And this is going to be where it kind of transitions into the town. So from the rough paths outside of town, I've got to um, start transitioning into around here-ish what we have in the town itself and that's going to be the fun bit getting that transition right right so i have plenty of grass so i'm going to need cobble andesite Gravel Andesite stairs Some smooth stone Some normal andesite uh, Where's the cobble? Here's the cobble Uh, smooth. Okay, let's see what we can get done. storage that means that one there has to be a solid block of some variety doesn't matter which just a <clears throat> a version of it right and i want <laughs> thank you for the sound alert I can see who plays my signs the most. Speaking of sound lights, there are anima noises. Who could resist anima noises? <laughs> True. The anima noises are so cute. And I keep saying I'm going to have to redo my whole setup. And I will. I just don't seem to have the time. And when I do think I have the time, something comes up. Let's uh, sleep and make it daylight again. You have chickens, goose, pig, dog, duck and sheep. That's cool. That's lots of uh, cool sounds. It's uh, mossy cobble. I'll have to make some more of that. Let's get some andesite when I can see it. It's a bit too much in one row. Cobblestone. Right, 
Done andesite, so it's a normal smooth... Nope, I wanted the smooth stone, please. I do like that you can just middle click and pick the block. There we go. So that will come round this edge. Now I need some stairs and half slabs. So this is going to come down the hill, round the corner, across the top, then down this hill, I think. The goose isn't as loud as my jump scare sounds, but it is loud. <laughs> yep. They, they make me jump, they make me pay attention. Sometimes I just get too focused on the build. So that's why they do that. But yeah, I do need to make some stuff. I started looking into making a dippy emote yesterday evening. I got kind of started with it and then... Uh, Got a little annoyed with it, so I left it for a bit. I'll come back with it to it. It wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So, andesite. Don't have any mossy cobble slabs on me. Let's go grab some mossy and some smooth slabs. Bubble was over here somewhere. We had some moss in one of these boxes. Grass. Problem is the grass block looks very similar to the moss block. Okay, I could spend ages looking through those. I make icons for my apps at work, so the company ends up with tools with with horses, goose, <laughs> selfish icons. That's cool. Yeah, they can be. Okay, so I came here. Okay, so you're in the way. I saw you. So nothing can be there. Come on. I want to go down the ladder, please. Thank you. Which one? This one. There we go. Mossy cobble. I do like the moss farm. <laughs> That's cool. I do like that, Ali. TM creativicator. Everybody watching Tango stuff understands me. That's cool. I don't blame you. Uh, 
and let you say those in the know know what it is. So that's definitely awesome. Let's move you and yeah, I don't need the axe for the moment, so that gives me a selection of half slabs. Just need it to get up to the full height for here. Which means you need to go because I don't want too many of... Well, I didn't mean to dig out everything there. The joys of... Uh... Haste. That's the word. It's awesome, but it can also be a little bit of a pain. Okay, so if I do that and I leave this one here, like this block, then we've got a three wide path going up this way. And then we can just get it to join there. That's cool. That's great. Where did they go? They went there. Oops. Yep. Hobble. I'm all stone. I'm not sure about that one. Cause... Yep, nope, that one needs to be filled in too. Cobble, cobble. This needs to curve into this bit because it becomes three wide there. Yep, beacons are very much your friends, except for when you don't want to be digging. At which point, when you've got one of those blocks that mines through really, really easy, you end up um, mining when you don't mean to. Yeah, this needs to come out a little bit more, I think. Let's switch those blocks. Just to make it a little bit easier. But yeah, it's cool. I do like the beacons. They're a bit of a pain to get because I have to go 2,000. What is it? No, it's not 2,000. It's a, what, over a 1,000 blocks out in the nether to the nether fortress. And it's on a one wide path. So I can't say I enjoy that trip out to get them. But I do have a couple of them, so I don't really need to go out that way that often. Yeah, 
right so we've got a path that comes up here now um and a site will do that and goes up to the windmill that way round to the inn this way And this path needs to break off and come over here somewhere. This is a good three wide section. This would be a good place for it. Yeah, Insta mining has its disadvantages, but like you say, it's a fantastic tool. I just wish you could hide the beam. then you could leave it in place where wherever you want it to be for the other effects so let's go by part way so here-ish I think before we transition up to the full block Andesite. I guess I need more andesite. Are you guys planning to watch DS's stream later today? I think that's going to be a fun one. Apparently he's doing Phasmo in VR. I know I'm looking forward to seeing it. It should be cool. So you need to go away, you're in the wrong place. And it looks like the charity stream week is going really well, which is awesome. And let's put a cobble. You're really only watching. That's cool. You watch what, whatever you want to watch, uh, Ali. I'm always happy to see you in in stream. It's a. Uh... Let's get. And everybody else too, by the way. It's cool to have you around. Let's go with that one and move that and I want these. It always makes a stream more fun to have people to chat to. So let's put these this way. Now some of you. Yep, seems to be going great from what I, I've tried to lurk in a lot of the streams this week. So, so it's been awesome to see how things have have gone okay. looks like I'm out of smooth stuff let's go grab some out of one of these shulkers Uh, 
Right, so I've got a bit that way, a bit this way, but I didn't have any down here. Cobblestone. Apparently I made a cobblestone too. Right, so cobblestone was here. We'll see. Up there, some gravel. Oops, that's not what I want. Go away. Oh good. Right. I see. It's an andesite. A lot of andesite in that area, so maybe not. Right. So then I just need to fix this bit here. And I think I may use smooth stone for that. And it's not smooth. Is it smooth stone? Let's have a look. I can never remember that they keep change changing the names on me. So that's now stone, so yes, it's probably the smooth stone. Yep. I still keep thinking of stone as smooth stone. Yeah, that's the thing. You kind of get used to it being called one thing. So when they change the name of the blocks, it's like hardened clay and terracotta. Oops. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, stick those in the off hand for a second while I collect the door. I forgot that would happen if I accidentally misclicked. <laughs> Okay, so we now have a pathway into that. Just need the path up the side and then we can continue with the building. So you need to change to um and sat there for a second. I'll tidy that up. Right, and this is where the path's going to end into a and become dirt roads without the rest of it. Let's get rid of you and yeah, you need to come down one. Nope. 
no dirt blocks there. So you that, that so you don't need to be there. And I need to figure out how to hide that gap afterwards. Probably a building of some kind. But yep, we'll start on the building next. Now that I've kind of got a an outline of where things are going to be. I just didn't want to go much further with knowing where the second the additional buildings are going to be without a path. Right. We can go in here. And yes, my chess mon my shulker monsters are really becoming a thing. So where did I put those blocks I had earlier? Snow. Looks like some of them. Concrete, snow, and powdered concrete. Okay. But I, I wanted this. And I want some spruce as well. Spruce logs. That's the thing with my moving the shulkers. I needed to find where everything is. It is coming together now. Uh, there's still a lot. Uh, one second. So uh, if I fly up a little bit. There's still a lot of the island that needs working on. There's a few big buildings around the port, but I want a, a number of small ones. And I also want a lighthouse either there or there. But probably out here. So I, I want to build a lighthouse out on this peninsula. I want a couple of ships in the bay. One on that side, one on that side. True. I could colour code the shulkers a bit. And then obviously I need to terraform round the coastline as well as inside the town. So yeah, it is progressing. Oh, I forgot blocks. Oops. <laughs> I thought I'd done it. I'd finished. Obviously I didn't. Uh, Andesite. Smooth stone. You can go away for now. Trust me to miss a bit. But that's all good. It can be fixed. And that one needs to be andesite will do again. There we go. All sorted. Right, so we need to know where the next house is going to start. And seeing as there's a path here, we should probably have one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want some really narrow streets. But I can't have it that narrow there. So I have to remember the overhang. Although the uh, buildings are overhung a lot, I need to at least leave one sky block between 
that and the next overhang so this has to be about here side of the building the roof line a block which gives me one two three four five six seven in between that's not too bad and we've got one two three four Eighteen. Eighteen. Leave two. Sixteen. So one, two, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth, that only leaves four. So One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, that will do. We can have four tiny houses. They'll be long this way, but uh, small that way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so I want five there. Five. Five. Not necessarily because this is one house and it's going to have to kind of step up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, so just trying to work with the height differences because I don't want to alter the terrain too much. I would like one, one, two, five, and then the crossbar. Yep. Got three, four, five, and then the crossbar. So I'm counting from kind of the front rather than the back. Well, that's a plan anyway. So, we now have that. So, one, two, three on the fourth. One, two, three on the fourth. 
Tie in there. I have any torches on me? I do. And this one. Go here. Right. Let's go sleep again. So we can make it a little bit lighter. Oops. And then this one should just come across here. Though I need to switch out some of these corner blocks. I think I have some of them up. I do. Cool. The fun bit's going to be the roofs on these. Oh, I'll figure it out. Go. That gives us the bottom floor anyway. Some of them drop down one, some drop down two. Is that because it goes? It doesn't look like it jumps two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, six, but it doesn't matter. Not really. Okay, so let's uh, get these blocks in. If I put them in the right place, thank you. We'll put the walls in. These are going to very be very small inside. So when I get around to doing interiors, I guess I'm going to have to be very creative. <laughs> but we'll get there. You guys are awesome with your t ideas as well with them, so... Um, terracotta. Where did I put the terracotta? There's a tiny bit of terracotta. But I know I have more because I went mining for some. 
here we go. Knew I had more somewhere. Right, so next step up. <laughs> it always makes me chuckle when you put the torches down instead of uh, the blocks because they're held in your off hand. Right, so this just needs the two extra. Right. Five, five, Let's get the other blocks. Where are you? Didn't see you for looking at you. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You've never got any idea as to what you're doing or how you're doing it. It's it's a pleasure to watch the process and all right. Um what I'm trying to do is kind of recreate Tudor feel and Tudor had small houses, large houses, houses of all sorts. They weren't the cookie cutter houses we currently have. Each house was kind of different. Which is why I'm trying to give it a little bit of the Tudor feel with the wood and the wattle and dorby kind of stuff. But you also found that um, they, they used bricks or they used whatever material was easiest to get. Um, I just think what should be in, in a town is case of shop should be... Uh, there's a port building, so there should be small houses for the workers because the workers would not be in rich houses. So I need some tiny little houses. The pathways in the town would be nicer than the paths outside the town. So I just kind of try and work with that and hopefully something works out um i'm not really sure how to explain it i just go with a feel which sounds weird i know if it doesn't feel like it uh
if he doesn't feel like it's the yep it was always there so you're going to have really nice houses that's a little bit further away from where somebody's going to work on the docks you're going to have this the small you're going to have the main roads for goods to come in and out of and you and the, seeing as these are shops you'd have a kind of a bigger road going to the shopping area and of course you'd have an inn for travelers to stay that kind of thing oh i wouldn't trust my judgment it's a case of i'm just trying to think people are people no matter what the age you live in you have certain necessities you need you need to work to earn money to buy things like food pay for accommodation but the accommodation has got to be in your price range which means to me that uh, there's got to be a difference it can't all look the same and obviously the poorer you are the cheaper the quality of material you would use in your house exactly everything changes but nothing changes it's always been the same there are basic necessities that we as humans have always needed shelter food warmth Uh, protection which is why i want you've got a lighthouse it's on an island so some of the cliffs may be a little bit steep in places and you may i may need to do a few little fortifications because if it's a port it needs to be defended too But I'll figure it out as I go along. I I know I'm kind of weird. I when I start building, I don't always know exactly what I'm going to be doing, so I can't really expect anybody else to know. Which is why I tend to build solo because my plans change and adapt. So if you're there, you're going to need to be one of you. You can come this way. Because, yeah, unfortunately, that's the thing. I don't plan for the most part there are some things i will pre-plan mostly i'll throw blocks down and see how it works as we did with that building because you remember how many different blocks we tried That took a long time to figure out. It worked out well in the end. It just took a long while to get there. So I've gone two. This shouldn't be two. This should just be the one.
if we're keeping with the size of the front. But I also know how frustrating that can be for some people. Some people need to know exactly what they're doing before they do it. Yeah, a lot, definitely a lot of trial and error. But that's my building style. It's a case of throw it at it, see what ends up feeling right. If it feels right, it stays. If it doesn't feel right, it gets changed. The... One thing that really helped me my, with my building was a comment that Scar made in one of his streams. They're just blocks. Place them and see how they, how they feel. If it looks right, feels right, that's all you need kind of thing. So, yep, yeah. I took that more to heart. It was a case of... I will throw blocks at it until it feels right. And they are just blocks so they can be taken out. So, one more block here. back torch the number of torches i lose by holding them in my off hand is a little ridic ridiculous but hey it's kind of cool though i do like the way mojang have um changed things for the light levels And yes, I'm repeating myself. What are you? Your mushroom blocks. I don't think you're going to mix. You would go okay with the uh, normal terracotta, but you won't really go too well with uh, white terracotta, I don't think. Next set. Then we've got to figure out the roof next. See, what I would like to have done was put some back to back houses in. But if I do that, I couldn't do that here because they're really too narrow. Because three blocks and three blocks really wouldn't make um, a very good back-to-back -back house. Yeah, I hate Microsoft, but credit where it's due. They're doing a good job with Minecraft. Yep, they are. The thing is, they've done so many. They still do updates to the game. And we still get them for free. Right. Whereas the and considering how old this game is, yeah, definitely credit where credit's due. 
how many games have been going this long and still get regular updates every year. Exactly. Right, so... A lot of the houses have had roofs going length along the long way. But I'm think I'm just wondering whether I put these as no, they won't it won't work. Because it's a roof on these ones that are going to be interesting. But they're just going to be uh, a kind of wood roof for these ones. Oh, do I have any oak? I think I saw some oak. If I had orchid, they would be in the brown ones. Some jungle stairs. Jungle doesn't look too bad. I have some orc stairs. Um... Don't want dark oak stairs because they look too newish. I don't want the stone ones either. So I'm thinking oak and spruce or the jungle isn't that big a variant from, although it's a bit pinkish from the oak. So I want them to look a little bit more weathered and beaten. Do I have any more oak wood? I have plenty of half slabs, but I don't seem to have much. Uh, yeah. And the jungle doesn't look too bad because if I put the jungle there, it kind of goes with the, uh, the wall. The orc isn't too bad. The orc looks a little bit newer, whereas that, I'm thinking that has a more weathery kind of feel. But I'm just a, a feel. Let's see if I have any jungle. I have acacia saplings. They're too, that, but that's too red. Spruce. Well, let's grab some of you for starters. And let's. Put the dark oak away and the logs because I don't need those at the moment. So I have some jungle logs. But not many. Okay, let's check the storage room. You have all the awkward. <laughs> How many eggs do we have in here? Plenty. Right, so I was looking for the woods and the woods are...
Don't really have any, do I? Plants. They're acacia. Eesh. I have four jungle saplings. But I need more jungle logs. I guess we're going to be making a trip to the jungle. Let's dump this lot in a shulker. Nope. An axe isn't the correct tool for picking up a shulker box. Uh, rockets should be in... Let's take an ender chest. Just stock up those a bit. That way if I do need more rockets, I can come and get them. Uh, what's the light of day? What's the time of day? Ah, we're not too bad. And if I fly that way, there is a jungle. We found it when we were boating around earlier in this. I still haven't uh, done anything much with uh, the temple. I do need to. There's so many things on my to-do list. Here we go. And I'm pretty sure we went in the temple, but we'll double check. problem with jungle is the amount of saplings you get. You don't get a whole lot. Did I? I don't think I did. I think I left a piece of wood in. Yeah, there we go. Any more wood in there? Yep. Ooh, sapling. Come on, give me those saplings. I prefer not to end up chopping down a, an entire uh, jungle. You like birch wood most, although I'm Italy, the birch boats look weird. The birch boats do look weird, but I do like the birch wood. I do like um, the feel it gives um, with the uh, panels. I do like those. They're actually one of my favourites. When it comes to trap doors, etc., in a, especially in a moderner build, <coughs> right? So we have a stack in a bit. Nine saplings. That's not bad so far. Come on. I know some of these are oak, but if he's given me a few more jungle saplings, I'm not complaining. Because I really don't have many of those. Let's go check this um, temple. I'm pretty sure we've been in it. 
with it being on the coastline, I'd be surprised if we we weren't. Yeah, I think so. Yep, it looks like I've dug out part of it. Yeah, I've dug it out for some uh, components. And just left uh, a couple of bits that I didn't need. I would have been surprised if I hadn't. I have cocoa beans. Should have melons. Pretty sure I do, but I'll take a couple of melons. Parrots. I hear parrots. There's a parrot. That's cool. Right, so we can fly back and hopefully have enough. Uh... Yeah, the strip logs of the birch do look good. There are, I can't really think of any block that I wouldn't use. I'm not saying I would use them in every build. Some of them are very much build specific. Like the diorite and what have you. I wouldn't just use them everywhere, but I will use them. In a build palette, I think they're appropriate for. And that's a big word. Appropriate. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's see how we do with these ones. And the end chest these right let's head up and uh, see if we can figure out a roof line once I get the scaffolding <laughs> Nope, that's perfectly fine. It's not an unpopular thing one way or the other. It's we all build how we enjoy building and what we find we like to build with. If you don't like trapdoors, then you don't use trapdoors. You use something else. You may use a half slab or whatever. It's got to be what you think looks good. Right, so, first things first, let's take this block out on there. Nope, because that's not the way I'd plan to build these. One, two, three, four, five. Two.
just want to make sure I get that first block in the right place. Okay, so I need to move it back one. So let's see how it goes. Put you there, and then I can put up one against you to make it in the right place. Take you out. Right. One more. Yep. I've still got to figure out how I'm going to get all of them to connect. But we'll work on the bits that are easier and we will figure out the bit that's going to be difficult. Oops, well, I hadn't planned to fall down there. Okay. So I'm going to take you out for a second. Because I need to figure out the roof line here. So that needs to start there. Two. Three. This only went one, two, three up. So that's doing that, which is fine. Okay. We will just fill that bit in with uh, white terracotta. 
Okay, um, sorry. You get on the server, spend 30 minutes organising shulkers and rem renaming and recolouring them. I know I'm making more fire resist portions, which I already have two barrels of. Ugh. That's a lot of fire resist portions. And what are you planning to do with all those fire resists? Are you selling them or are you... Uh... Let's see if I can figure out what I'm going to do. So something I need to do something here because that can't be that block. That really does need to be that. So what I'm going to do is go get the uh I'm flying around the nether gathering gas heads. Ah. Oops. Do you enjoy the saunas? It's cool that you've got the, the mob heads. I know I have them on here. Because I do, we did do a bunch of the, um, I also have them on armor stand mod, which was cool. So you can do little scenes. Get rid of you. Because you don't need to be there and you can become one of that. So that, that though admittedly that's not brilliant. I can't remove this one. So if I just did uh, jungle wood there, it may look a bit weird. Or at least that could kind of be kind of like a troughing. Oh, that's what I'm going to pretend it is. Yeah, I have a chalet and I'm going to make employees with armor stands. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because I do like the armor stand mod. I get why we don't have it on Titan Craft. Because, yeah. Could you just imagine the... Because it does create lag. And could you just imagine the amount of um, armor stand scenes... Yeah, it would make it interesting. Yeah, it would suffer big style. But seeing as this is single player, it's not too bad. place a block and then we'll go sleep again well you can come up some we caught some cool things um i think so but i'm not 100 percent sure I'd have to look it up to double check, to be honest.
Yeah, that's what I believe, Kat. I know I tend to use armor stands to put with the heads on when I'm making a snooker or a pool table so that they can look like the pockets. That obviously wasn't right. Oh. They're entities. Yeah, so in which case you won't get to use many of them anyway. But 50 armor stands in an area. Hmm. Not sure how it would work out, but I, I still have a feeling it wouldn't be great. Because I do remember seeing Tango streams and his the Wily Coyote that was made caused uh, issues in one area, I believe. Because the FPS dropped because of them. Yeah, entities are not allowed in the shopping district. Oh yeah, it looked fantastic. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So this one should be the middle. Technically that should be there. But what she, what uh, Cleo can do with armor stands, yeah. Is amazing. <laughs> and I fell off the edge, of course. Oops, wrong place. But it's definitely a cool uh, thing. I know one season on Titancraft we had mob heads. And we had mob heads all over the place. Or, cause I, I used Wither Skulls and Blaze heads. They're on a checkerboard. Not sure if they were empty. Your first contact with Hermitcraft videos was Pipe and Cleo, Joe Hills doing the hardcore Hermits thing where they had to collect one of as many items as possible. Oh, that's cool. Um, mine was um, Scott, after I'd watched Scar's um, tutorial videos and then I I was I was seeing what else he had on his channel and he just and it was in the season that he started Hermitcraft I want to say Right, so we now have a couple of houses 
Now the fun bit is I'm going to need to fill in those areas with the terracotta that I put away. I think I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Nope, you can't make uh, white terracotta in a stone cutter. Mm -mm. Doesn't work that way. Yours was running across a Hermitcraft recap videos. Oh, that's cool. That's a good way to get introduced to a lot of people. Like I say, I, w I watched Sc the Sc Scars one and he mentioned um, the chuck wagon that he'd done in season four. Um, Tango and Impulse captured a mob for him. Which kind of blew my mind because it never even occurred to me that you could capture your mobs and put them in uh, your builds and as for redstone I didn't even know it was a thing I was that noob So it was interesting to see what the Impulse and Tango came up with. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That should be starting soon. Oh yeah, it makes my brain hurt, but um, I do need to learn. Okay, so I need to remove that block and I think I need to put a half slab under each of those joins. And yes, there's no detailing in the roof at the moment, but I figure I need to get the shape first. Yeah, I think I want rid of you and put a half slab under these. You're you're planning on making the auto portion thing. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. I like I say I, what I need to do is um Build a, ha a starter house base for myself on Titan Craft. Because at the moment, I've got chests upon chests upon chests, all out in the open, with a bed underneath the um, villager farming. Just so there's a couple of blocks above the head. The stop phantom spawns. My priority was to, to build the... Um, Hujima what's it? It's trading halls. Don't want you. Why do I want to do that? I don't think I do. I think we'll just do that. Right. 
just need to work on the opposite side and get that bit done there too. And then the third chicken, I've partially built it. Right, so the chickens will help in the chalet. There's the chalet chicken and the other chicken. I partially rebuilt it twice now oh, and tore down my original build entirely before I decided on the chalet. And then the third chicken that I don't know if I can say on here, it's tame, but still. <laughs> but still, okay. That's fine, you can. Oh, and I already started to think of syn synonyms for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Right, so more, nope, that's not where that block needs to go. Okay, one, two, three, four. Right, so you're that way, then you should be there, and you should have a half slab under you. Two, three, four. Where's the half slabs? There's the half slabs. I may need to go make some more half slabs. Need to be there, there, there. Oops. Come back. I guess I forgot to put these in place. I may end up seeing if I can put a tiny window in there. Grab the scaffolding. And I'm going to have to make some steps that come down here to here. So let's push, oops, push that back one. I can go back. Couple. This can come out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It can kind of turn the corner and come down here. That's okay, so we've got a pathway through there too. Let's have a look at the roof. I think those crossbars need to either go away or drop down.
because they don't look right. If I drop them down, how many tall is it? One, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve. I could make it have three floors and then be tiny floors instead. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's put you there. Two, three, four. Yep. Yeah, that's better. So I'm going to do the same with these. Yeah, there is a bit of a jump because that goes to. First and second. First, second. Yeah, they, I'm assuming you mean this line here in the middle. It's cause, like I said, this building ended up being two taller than the others. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four. That I was expecting. It was just a case of this block here. Is too close in my view to the roof line. It still looks weird, like you say, up there because of the. It's that one that does that one additional jump. But seeing as I didn't even the ground out, it was going to look weird at some point. One, two, three, four. There wasn't going to be much of an option with that. Because, yes, I could flatten them all out, but I don't want the buildings to all be on one level. I really don't. I'm trying to figure out building with builds on different terrain levels. One, two, three, four. I'll have a look in a second. One, two, three, four, five. So this one could be raised a little bit. Let's have a look, see if we if it's possible to.
Right, so what I would have to do to raise it Potentially that Switch that around I don't think I would use a full block but that doesn't look too bad. It then just moves the issue and let's just take these out and have a look from a, a better distance now. Because by switching that one block, like, like you say, it comes up and down, but it's not quite as bad. I'm losing all my scaffolding. Come back. Okay, don't. Not too worried about that bit there for the second. Okay, let's try a half slab. No, I can see what you mean. That's a bit that's a bit better.
because you still have the same flatness. I just need to do the same on the other side. Thank you for pointing it out, Ali. So we have a kind of a full block walk area here and a full block walk area here between the roofs. And with having that block that way it kind of makes that bit look okay too. So yeah, that looks better. And I like that we've moved these cross beams down too. It gives it a little bit more proportion between them. So it's getting there. Okay, so let's see who's streaming and who we can send you over to. Thank you guys for sticking around. It is much appreciated. Um. And let's see who we have. Ah, DS is playing Phasmo, so I am I'm definitely sending you DS's way because he's playing Phasmo in VR. Um, and also he's doing the stream for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, so it's a charity stream. So we will be heading that way. You guys have a great weekend. I may stream, I'm not promising 100%, but I'm thinking of streaming from Titan Craft tomorrow, after, tomorrow evening around the same time as I usually would stream. Um, so I will see you, may see you guys tomorrow. If not, it will be Monday. You guys have a fantastic weekend and take care of yourselves, okay? A second. There we go. I'll see you all over there.